Well, since we love how miserable it makes us to talk about it, let's talk some more about the cold weather. Why don't we? Shall we? Over the last few weeks, this cold weather here has taken a toll on the Chesapeake Bay. That's right. Look at the video here that News Chopper 7 shot. This was last Friday, and the Coast Guard had to make emergency deliveries to people who live on Tanger Island. Well, today, Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell went along with an icebreaker. All right. Brad made it back to the dock in Annapolis, and he's here now joining us with uh, Brad. We hear you have some amazing pictures you want to share? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's not something you get to see every year, but take a look at this in Annapolis Harbor. Four inches of ice. You can look out towards the bay, and that is all you see. Ice everywhere except for the little path that we made aboard the icebreaker. Time aboard the icebreaker John C. Widener is memorable. It is cold really cold as the wind whips across the ice sheet. It is beautiful, the side of the Chesapeake view ever see except from shore. There are no waves, no other boats, and under a crisp blue sky, ice as far as the eye can see. And then there is that cringe-worthy noise of the ice grinding and cracking like nails on a chalkboard against the black metal hull. Well, we're nearing the mouth of the Severn River and the main stem of the Chesapeake Bay. The ice actually appears to be getting thicker, and you can hear that crunching, crunching as the boat pushes its way along. Captain Jeff Lill has been at the helm of the Widener for years. He and his crew tend buoys mostly in the summer. They can go years at a time without having to break ice. And until two weeks ago, he didn't think the bay would freeze at all this winter. Calm wind. We saw temperatures single digits last night, and this is the result of it. There is a mission to break ice around the many marinas which operate year-round in Annapolis. At Bert Jabin's yard, Dylan Wood says they need open water to function. It helps the most if anybody's sinking out there, brings them right into the well, we can take the boat out for them. Chesapeake Bay watermen also need to get to fish nets and their oyster grounds, and the crew of the Department of Natural Resources Widener is happy to oblige but even they'll admit the cold gets old. Mid-July is when I'd rather be out. Well, off in the distance, you can see the Bay Bridge. The captain tells us that north of the bridge, the ice is really thick. He's heard stories of barges and tugboats actually getting stuck. It is a beautiful sight, kind of strange. There is a strong wind, but it is flat and calm as it could be because it is frozen. In Annapolis, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.